Hello and welcome back to the Beer Dog Reviews. You do find me in a slight state of disarray at the moment. Shane was working from home today and I think he's realised that my little home office setup is actually quite handy. He said rather than using my desk and putting his laptop here and using the computer, he's moved the TV because we don't watch telly down here very much anyway. And that's now on the table behind me. I've got two of his laptops here as well. So I do apologise for the mess, as it were. He's put bits and pieces of stuff everywhere. Uh, there we go. Anyway, I thought I'd uh, have a quick beer. And, um, see what we've got. I'm filming this one on my webcam with my new microphone just to see if it's any better than using the camera that I've got. The only thing is that obviously the webcam's up here so I, my eye line's not quite right so I find myself looking at the little uh, monitor bit of the software so I do apologise. Anyway, let's have a look and see what I've got in the mini fridge. So, that looks like one to go for. So I'm going to be having a look at a cheddar, oh, if you haven't noticed, I have got a nice new chair as well very comfortable and obviously in black and red. Uh, the beer I'm going to look at today is from Cheddar Ales and it's called Bitter Bully, a bottle condition pale ale. There's the, let's try and get it right, there's the label there. As with all Cheddar Ales it's just a simple picture of Cheddar Gorge. This time it's in a purple design this one comes in at 3.8% and just having a quick look just to see ah here we go so it's Cascade, Amarillo and Simcoe hops all nice so I'm gonna drop it in a glass and see what we've got as always with cheddar ales Got the simple logo on the crown. Right. It is bottle condition, so I'm going to give it a bit of a gentle pull. Somebody's sending me a message, I'll ignore that for now. Nothing's that important, surely. It's a pale gold, fairly clear beer, very gentle carbonation with um, a small finger of very clean fluffy white head. Certainly looks like a pale to me. Oh, let's give it a go. Hmm, just trying to work out what I'm getting on the aroma. There's a lot going on there. There's definite orange in there. There's a tartness, I think that's that's the grapefruit from the Simcoe hops coming through there. Rather, rather nice indeed. Just move that out of the way for a second. Alright, let's give it a taste. Hmm. The 
Now I'm picking up the malt coming in. Does it say what malts they've used? No, it just says brewed using the finest pale ale malts. But it is a, a slightly bready malt coming in there. Very juicy. But I'm definitely getting tons and tons of grapefruit on the flavour. There's an almost sour edge coming in without being a sour. There's definite pink grapefruit as well. A really tart pink grapefruit. It's really fleshy, it's really juicy. There's plenty of zest in there as well. Very soft mouthfeel. Surprisingly smooth actually, for a more old world style pale. Even though it is using all American harps. And you do get a really nice rolling bitterness. It's definitely the cascade at work there. Ever so slight pininess. Slightly resinous. And it's dry, a very dry beer. Which with that citrusy juiciness, I do find unusual. However, is very welcome and you know me a beer with a nice dry edge it makes you want to go in and grab that next mouthful absolutely delicious not had many cheddar ales but everyone that I have had whilst being very traditional and you know, almost classics if you like they do have that slight contemporary edge some of them especially this one it's enjoyable it's smooth very easy drinking and I mean what, what was that 3.8 percent wouldn't normally say this with a very traditional beer but it's sessionable. Absolutely delicious. Now, on that note, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down there. I'm going to sit down and really enjoy this one. Until next time, happy drinking. <laughs>